Hello friends, today we'll be looking at how to use Zoom breakout rooms. Now the essence of these Zoom breakout rooms is to create is to create groups within our children that we are teaching. For example, if we have a particular topic that requires them to brainstorm in groups, okay, so that they can answer the question. And remember collaboration and uh, group work, which is all part of the courses. They help children, especially the ones that are weaker to gain things from the ones that are very strong. So we can we could incorporate this using the Zoom app. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how to activate it. It's already activated in mine. For example, if I show you this page here now on my Zoom, you will see these breakout rooms. Let me close this. You will see breakout rooms. Can you see breakout rooms here? Yes, this is what we want to get to do that. That means within that your Zoom room, you will have smaller breakout rooms for the children. They will be in the room and discuss. So I'll quickly minimize this and show you how you can get your breakout rooms. <clears throat> now, to get your breakout rooms, you go to your web browser, okay? You go to your web browser. On the address bar, hmm, you type zoom.us. But if you are not using a computer, okay, you can use your Android phone. You launch your web browser, Chrome preferred, preferably. Then you pick the option that says use the desktop site so that your, your phone will be displaying like a computer. So you don't really need to go to a computer to use it. So I've typed zoom.us. I hit the enter key. Now remember your email and your password. We use registration Zoom. You need it to register. As for me, I've already saved my... Uh, um, login details here. So the next thing to go, you go to my account. Can you see my account? Okay. And then you click on it. Mm, I'll be speaking very fast. If you have any issues concerning how fast I'm speaking, just rewind the video so that it will not be too large. Thank you. Then you click on settings. Okay. Can you see settings here? Mm -hmm. Click on settings there. Now, after clicking on settings, you have to scroll down to get to where that setting is zoom breakout rooms you can see i'm still scrolling down so you scroll down keep scrolling keep scrolling keep scrolling okay now i think it's somewhere around here waiting zoom breakout room we must have passed it so i'll go and look for it zoom breakout can you see breakout room here now you make sure yours is checked meaning it is showing blue okay once it's showing blue it means you are good to Go. Now, this one, let me turn it off. Can you see it is off? This is how yours will be like. So, this one now, let me turn it on. And it is on. Okay? Now, since we have done this, since we have done this, okay? Now, check this. Save. Now, since we have done this, okay? Now, we'll go to your Zoom. Now, let, let me um, um, expand my Zoom. Now, you can see that is when your breakout rooms will show. Okay? Now, I want to do the Zoom breakout now to group the, the people I have here into different groups. So you click on the Zoom. This is a breakout rooms. Okay. You click on it. Now, the pop-up uh, dialog box will ask you, assign three participants into one room. No, we cannot assign three. Let's assign three participants into two rooms. That means there will be only two rooms or two groups such that all the children in your class, okay, they'll be grouped into two. So if you want to have them into, if you want to group them into four groups, you pick four. But for now, like for here now, um, since we have only dummy participants, they are not really active. We don't really, we can't, we don't get feedback from them. So I'll take only two rooms, meaning that we have one to two participants per room. This is showing because of the number of participants I have here. Now, now, I click on create rooms. Okay. As you can see, I have created my room. You can see Mr. Michael is in room one. Mrs. Epomaka is in room two. Mrs. Robinson is in room three. Now, if any other person comes in, the person can be put into the, into the, the other room I was expecting for. So, next, if you have, if you are doing your teaching, you have more, of course, you have more than three people in your class. So, that would be easier for you to break them into three four or five rooms, depending on the number of people you want in the room. So when you are done, you just click on open all rooms, meaning you want to activate the groups now. Sorry, I'll be interchanging the word between rooms and groups. They mean the same thing, whatever I'm talking. So I click on that. Close. Also, you can see now it is active. 
and then they will prompt your participant to join the room. Your participants in the room will be prompt to join. You can see if you check their, their phones, you will see them. The host is inviting you to join breakout rooms. So you join. You just join. You just join. So when they have joined, when they have joined, they will be in different rooms. Okay. By so doing, look at this here. Mr. Michael and uh, Mrs. Ibumaka are in the same room. So whatever they will be discussing in that room, the person in room two will not hear it. Okay, because they are brainstorming is a group work. They will not hear it. They can easily do it. Okay. Now, why for here, Mrs. Richards is alone in this. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Robinson is alone in this room. So. What I want to do, you can also move people. For example, since you have joined them, and I don't want Mrs. Pumaka to be in group one, I want her to be in group two. So you can quickly move her to group two. By if you click, if you put your cursor on this place here, if you put your cursor on uh, the name of the person, you will see move there. Okay, so you can move that child to room two. So let me move. Uh, if you click on the move, so you can see move to where breakout room two. Now I have successfully moved. Mr. Kwemaka to uh, uh, room two or group two. Okay? So, why not join? She's joining. Where is it? She, she has been moved. As you can see, she has been moved. Why only Mr. Michael is now in group one? So, that means, for example, you have two children that are always discussing things that are not connected to what you are teaching. They are always making noise. Well, you have two noisy children. You know, if you put them together, they will stop the other two. So, you can separate them. And put them in where they can learn. Or if you have weak children, okay, they can, you can put them in where the strong children are so that they can join the discussion and, and join. And after that, <clears throat> now you can send a broadcast message to everybody in all the rooms because you as a as a as a teacher, you can join the room or you can send a message. Hello, please discuss. Discuss and get back to me, stuff like that. So you can always get your stuff. Now, when you click on the broadcast, everybody in the rooms, you can, they will see it, and then they will get the message, and they will know what to discuss, what they are discussing about. Okay. Now, also on this arrow down here, on this uh, room, this room breakout. Can you see join here? You as the teacher, you can join the room to ensure to make sure that what the children are discussing is what is what you are teaching, so that they don't you are not teaching. Um, and they themselves, they are, they are discussing a, a animal or animals. So you know that they are part. So once now you can join them. So for example, if I want to join this uh, group two, I'll just click on join as a teacher. Is the join breaker room two? Yes. Now I have joined. You can see it's joining them. Okay, you can see I have joined them here. And that is it. Okay. So, and uh, since I have joined them, I can as well move out of the room, you can see, leave breakout room. When you click on close, you can leave the breakout room, and then it takes me back to the um, teacher's position, okay? Now, since we have that, since we have that, let me plug in this now. Yeah, I click on breakout room to bring me back here. Now, if you want the breakout room, for example, you're giving them the five minutes and you believe that they are done, you can also send them a message, you have 30 seconds to round up broadcast message they will all receive it and round up whatever they are doing and then you close rooms when you close rooms means all these people in this breakout rooms will be brought back to the main uh, 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 meeting the main zoom meeting where you can now ask them okay group one leader what did you put this course so i'll click on this close room say like it says all breakout rooms will be closed in 56 54 so it gives them time out for them to know that this room is expiring in one minute so they will have to quickly round up whatever they have discussed and then they will come and give you feedback now the breakout room is very important remember you just have to give it a try you know things like this are always uh, so just give it a try it's fun there are some things about just give it a try we always do collaboration and all that in school so we have to we have to incorporate it you just the children will be, will be asked to click leave room. So when they click leave room, even if they don't click leave room, automatically after the countdown times, it will push them to the main Zoom meeting or push they have joined the main Zoom meeting now. Okay. Now, of course, I didn't talk about some options here. 
you can see this option here that I'm clicking here before I was supposed to do this before the zoom breakout room you can move up to break breakout automatically breakout room close automatically after how many minutes for example if you want them to have five minutes you have to check this before you do that if you want them to have five minutes for their discussion you just put five minutes there and that's the only thing they have to discuss that's the only time they have to do they cannot push you out to exceed that because you are the one of course they should you can pick notify me when it's done okay now also after closing breakout room how many seconds do you want them to count to round up you can give them 60 seconds you can give them 30 seconds you can give them 15 for me i'll give them just well, just one minute is okay so i remember this one is in seconds that's 60 seconds and then i'm done so i can easily click on open all rooms and all that so since we have done talk about the rooms i want to tell you just give it a try try it again and then you'll get it of course there are other features you can update in your zoom settings like if you have posts here yeah, i did post remember posts where somebody will say okay who is the cutest in their class? Oh, sorry. Which of the following is um, a plant? You put a uh, goat and you put a um, uh, lily. Of course, they will start picking. Voting is for picking. Just wait polls where they can vote. Okay? So when they vote, once they can vote again, you can give this and give it a try. And then uh, that's just all we are going to talk about. Sorry, I spoke very fast. Just rewind the video. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can just send me a message on WhatsApp or chat me up okay don't forget to click the subscribe button and the like button and give a comment thank you